desperate need of a self-care night. I've been wanting to incorporate more downtime into my life and that's exactly what I'm gonna do tonight. I just got back from work a little bit ago and I've been inside all day long so I'm gonna go on a walk right now and get some sun on my skin. Also I wrote down in Notion all of the things that I have planned for tonight and I'm just so excited to wind down to spend some time with myself and relax. So the first thing was to get my walk in and I got some sunlight. It's about like high 70s right now. I'm going to do my nails, cook some comfort food. I wanna do a little self love letter, take a shower, stretch, do some red light therapy, do my skincare, maybe put a little face mask in there and do some reading and breath work. If you are also someone who works a full-time job or even if you're in school all the time, let this be your sign to unplug from your phone and just have a night to yourself to fully relax and recharge, do the things that make you feel good inside. And honestly, I'm saying that as a reminder to myself as well because I definitely don't do this as often as I should. So let's keep each other accountable with that. Comment down below one thing that you're gonna do this week for yourself and actually follow through and do it. So I did my nails like a little over a week ago, but I'm really wanting to change the color up again. I've kind of always been that girl that keeps her nails plain because I didn't want to go out and pay for a manicure. However, this video is kindly sponsored by Nail Reserve and now I have all of these polishes that make it fun and way easier to do my nails. Okay, which color do I want to go with tonight? Let's decide. The color that I currently have on my nails is called Breaking News and these are the colors I'm currently going to choose from tonight. All right, I just took the old nail polish off and I think I'm going to go with this color. I think it's so pretty. This one is called Ravishingly Naked. Nail Reserve provides affordable and salon quality soak off gel polish. My favorite thing is that they use safe ingredients so that the polish isn't damaging to the nails. A lot of traditional nail polishes will use harmful chemicals. So this is one of the things that immediately drew me to this company. They're also vegan and cruelty free. So I first start by putting on the base coat and then I'll put it under the UV LED light for around 60 seconds then I put on a few coats of polish but I'll do a thin coat and then cure it under the light and then another thin coat and cure it after that once I think that it's thick enough I then put on the top coat and you guessed it, after the top coat, I cure it under the lights and then it's completely done. If you're interested in these products, be sure to check out Nail Reserve by clicking the link in the description down below. And they've also provided you with a 50% off exclusive discount if you use the code RebeccaJoy. And that's the finished nails. I love how they turned out. Honestly, I'm not the best at it, but I took my time and went really slow because I was trying to make it look good. Thank you so much to Nail Reserve for sponsoring this portion of the video. All right, I am in the mood for some comfort food. I feel like that's such a fun part of self-care. I was looking up recipes and I'm thinking I could do a chicken, rice, and carrot soup. <laughs> Okay, actually I've decided instead of soup, I'm gonna cook some chicken in a skillet and then cook rice separately and then just eat them together after. I'm also thinking about peeling and cutting carrots, but I only have one big skillet. So let's see. <laughs> this is supposed to be like a chill self-care night, but I'm literally so stressed right now because it's already 8, 11 p.m. and I've done like two things. And I'm having anxiety because I know this is gonna take a while. I still have to shower tonight and then I wanted to have time for like other self-care stuff, but I literally don't have time for it. So I'm like just freaking out right now. <sighs> okay, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you. 
so for the chicken, I cut it up and then I put some olive oil, a little bit of garlic salt, and then some salmon rub that I got from Trader Joe's. I kind of just mixed all those seasonings and oil together with the chicken. I'm also going to add some chicken broth to it. I found that the chicken gets a lot juicier when I add in chicken broth and then cover it and let it steam. definitely hit the spot for me that meal together is like one of my favorite meals to be honest I'm gonna pack up my lunch tomorrow with some leftovers from that that is something that I try to do every single day is make extra for dinner so that I have enough to pack for lunch for work the next day Okay, it's officially like pretty late now. It's 940 and I'm trying to decide like if I'll still have time to do everything that I wanted to do. I'm gonna try to do like micro versions of it. So maybe read like a page or two, sit in front of the red light therapy for like five minutes instead of 10. I have to wash my hair tonight. So the shower is gonna take a lot longer than normal. And like I said, I do have work tomorrow. So I have to wake up around 6 a.m. Definitely not looking forward to that, <laughs> but it's okay. stretching and the red light therapy felt so nice. I feel like that was the first time today that I really just sat still. I'm moving on to skincare. I'm going to show you my skincare routine. It's so, so simple. It's only two products. Actually, it's three. Let me show you what I use to wash my face. I use the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser to get off all of my makeup. I double, sometimes triple cleanse with this. And then you guys have probably seen it a hundred times, but my skincare routine for the evening is the exact same as the morning. First, I go in with the Snail Mucin. For me, it's worked so far. Like I've been using it for probably a couple months now and I genuinely can say that it's made my face feel a lot softer. My skin just seems more clear. And then the second product that I go in with is the Andalou Naturals Night Cream. I really, really love their moisturizers. And even though this is a night cream, I do also use it in the morning before putting on my makeup. I kind of use it as like a primer. But anyway, this has purple carrot and C in it and it's supposed to do some like face brightening. I don't know how bright my face really gets from it, but I do know that it feels really good after having this on. I'm gonna brush my teeth and then put on some Burt's Bees chapstick afterwards. I like to put this on every night before I go to bed. Before bed, I'm gonna read this Breath is Prayer book. I talked about this at the end of my last video, but basically it's a book about how to calm your anxiety, focus your mind, and renew your soul. It's kind of a way to do breath work, but make it prayerful at the same time. And you can basically read like one page a day. Mm -hmm. 
I want to conclude the night by saying that if you are also someone who works a full-time nine to five job and your self-care night kind of looks similar to this, I want you to know that you're not alone. It was frustrating at times throughout tonight because I had so many things that I wanted to do. Like I wanted to write myself a self-love letter and I didn't even get to do that because I just ran out of time. But at the same time, I just have to give myself grace and realize, hey, like I just worked a full work day. These things take time, but at least I took an evening to just slow down and focus on myself and not work so hard whenever I come home from work. I think at the end of the day, just giving myself that grace is the most important lesson that I can take from tonight. I'm also realizing that I definitely need to put more self-care nights into my schedule. They are way too few and far between. And it's something that is so, so important to me, yet I don't prioritize it as often as I should. So I'm ending tonight feeling grateful that I did take the opportunity to use tonight and focus more on myself. I hope if anything, this video inspires you to just take a moment, give yourself some love, do something that fills your soul up, I guess, and can put a smile on your face. Thank you so much for watching this and I hope I see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.